The concept of the economic moat comes from Warren Buffett. He evaluates a company's economic moats to determine its ability to maintain a competitive advantage over its rivals and thus protect its long-term profitability and market share. So why do companies need a competitive advantage? A competitive advantage is inequality that enables a company to offer similar products to its peers while enjoying superior financial performance. Over time, companies are more likely to lose their competitive advantage because as they grow increasingly profitable, competitors are more likely to replicate their methods or create even better ones. As soon as the level of a company's profits is significant enough to warrant attention, it opens itself up to attack from competitors who are looking to enter the marketplace with the intention of grabbing a share of those profits for themselves. This is exactly where a wide economic moat offers the protective barrier a business needs to prevent other companies from stealing its earnings. Or in other words, establishing economic moats can help companies protect their long-term profits. In reality, an economic moat serves as a competitive advantage over other companies within the same industry. But what sets it apart is the fact that the advantage is sustainable over a very long period of time. While these moats can be created in a number of different ways, and may be either narrow or significantly wide, it only stands to reason that the more of them a business can build, the better off it will be. Let me ask you a quick question. How can you feel confident about estimating a company's ability to generate earnings down the road if that ability is not protected in some way? You know, sustainability is the key to consistent and ever-growing revenues, and the economic moat is the key to that sustainability. While having a competitive advantage may allow a business to temporarily outperform its competitors, the economic moat is a benefit that's built to last, and it will ultimately determine whether a company is set up for prolonged success or inevitable failure. From an investment point of view, the longer a company's economic moat can hold firm, the longer you will benefit from its profits. It's important to be aware that there are some false business moats in the marketplace. Masquerading is the real thing, and you should be careful not to be taken in by these imposters. Features like superior products, outstanding marketing strategies, and high-performance management teams are all wonderful attributes for a business to have. But on their own, they are not enough to provide a long-term competitive advantage. Products and marketing tactics can easily be copied and so require the presence of a deeper, more durable barrier to support and protect them from would-be thieves. So make sure that you'll only invest in companies with moats that generate superior shareholder returns over the long run. And you should also be extremely selective and focused on wide moat stocks. Although economic moats tend to be more qualitative than quantitative in nature, there are a number of ways you can recognize when a company has one or more in place. A significant amount of cash flow and a strong operating performance are common to all businesses with an effective economic moat. But here are five other factors that play a vital role in the establishment of a sustainable competitive advantage. In this module, we'll talk about cost advantage, efficient scale, intangible assets, network effect, and switching costs, and how a company can utilize these wide moats to gain the upper hand over their competitors. In the next video, we'll talk about the first one, which is the cost advantage. Okay, see you in the next video.